So for me, <laughs> it's not about the game itself. Playing the game is not the end goal. And I think people get caught up in trying to create a game that's really fun, which holds people's attention. But when they walk out or at the end of it, it's like, okay, what am I taking away with it? That was fun, but can I actually do something different? And in business for our company and my approach is really looking at what is it that the learner can do that at the end of the game or the end of the learning experience that they could not do before. And so that's a challenge for many people who have not done gamification before is to think of it in that way of how do I turn that learning experience into a scenario interactive that helps people do something at the end of it in their career, in their life. And mm -hmm. then how do you make it fun and, and active without getting distracted by the game itself? So really focusing again on those learner outcomes. So Great. getting people to think just beyond a game, I'll, last yeah. sentence here, getting people to think about something beyond the game, almost right. any activity can be turned into something fun or interactive. It does not have to be a set game. So, you know, Chris is talking about something that is um, very, I won't say, I don't want to use the word complex, but comprehensive, I think, in terms of how he's approaching it, which is fantastic. But if somebody has a small budget and hasn't gotten into this before, it can be very simple to just test some things to try to get started in that arena. That's such a that's such a powerful idea. This whole notion of the brand promise of gamification is not games; it's actually the outcome. And if you pitch it that way, it should be a lot easier to get internal buy-in, executive sponsorship, as well as produce outcomes that align with what the business needs. Mm -hmm. Thank you for pointing that out. Can I follow up on one thing there? Sorry, Chris, but you said getting the senior leadership involved. One of the things that we did is we did a test. And so we got the two highest ranking people of two of our business unit sales groups and mm -hmm. had them test a product uh, game that we were working on. And they were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with it. And they were sending me emails, the uh, medical division, I mean, medical division guy was always on top and the dental could not get, why can't I beat him? Come to find out he was one second slower than the medical was. And he was ticked because he couldn't beat the medical guy, but they were doing it over and over. And that was just the senior leadership testing the product.